Hi, welcome to a product review by Robojax. In this video, we are going to have a look and test this LM317 voltage regulator that is sold as module on eBay. We are going to check how much input and output voltage this one can accept and provide, and also we will see how much load or current this can tolerate or handle. Let's get started with this. When you purchase that uh, module, you will receive it like this, maybe in a bag, uh, nothing other than that. So we have a potentiometer here with the power. You see it clicks, so you can shut off the input. That's nice, there is a nut in case if you want to attach it to a box. And this has been labeled at 12 volts because uh, the output is 13.5 maximum, so you can put any voltage that you want but they put it at 12 volts so because the output can not go above 13 volts so above 14 volts the, uh, the input will not be uh, advised so we have two wires here and the heatsink is here four screws to install it uh, for the output they have provided two connection and they labeled it as fan one is two pin the other is three pin so you can connect your sensor fan or whatever you have and here this is positive and they put black wire and then the negative they put red wire so they did not follow the convention so make sure that as soon as you receive it put a tape around this and make this black and remember that this is r red or positive otherwise as soon as you connect to your device it will burn the device this chip that they put here this is from Fairchild LM317T it has three terminal and, uh, and this is the input this is the output and the last one is the adjust pen need some resistors so these two resistors are used uh, with conjunction to this potentiometer to control the uh, output of this as you can see here on the data sheet the input voltage on the right side right side is the input the middle one is the output also this heat sink or the body of this device and the body of this device is also that is the output as well and then this last pin is the adjust pin length of this module is 33.2 width of the pcb is 30.4 With the potentiometer, the length is 46. Uh, depth of the device is 24.2 millimeter. So here is the item on eBay. They also mentioned a speed controller, fan speed controller or motor, which can be done as well. And the price is $1.46 uh, US. I will also provide you the link for eBay. Now let's have a look at the data sheet. This is uh, this uh, regulator is produced by many manufacturers, but the specifications are very close to each other. So this data sheet is for Texas Instrument. As you can see, the input is the output voltage is 1.25 to 37 volts. It can get output, and the maximum current 1.5 ampere. It has a short circuit current limiting and also thermal overload protection and output safe area compensation so this has two package this is a package that we have because it has a hole for the screw the other package will not have that or maybe they have this surface mount type so input to output difference can be up to 40 volts the difference between input and output these are the junction temperature type i will provide the link you can download this let's test this i've connected the input now it's as you can see the input is 18.8 volts and these pins are the output output is connected here and we can see that it is 13.5 volts the led is on it shows the power now if i mm, if i just rotate this to the maximum this is the maximum voltage that you can get with this module so the output voltage is adjustable uh, with selecting certain resistors plus this potentiometer so they have put it such that 
the maximum can go 13.5 but this module can give you up to 35 volts if the input is higher than the output but this is limited to 13.5 as you can see and if I go down it's very precise so let's select 9 volts So now we have 9 volts, let's go to 5 volts. So we got 5 volts at the output. This is without the load, I'm going to connect the load next. So let's go for 3.3 .3 volts. So this is now 3.3 .3 and I go over the maximum maximum is 1.2 volts I'm changing the input and let's see what is going on with the output let's set it to 5 volts so now we have 5 volts at 12 we are getting still 5 volts 9 volts, still we are get, getting 5 volts. So 6.7 as soon as you go below. As soon as I go below by 6.3, the voltage dropped. So 6.4. So this is 5. So 1.4 volts, the input should be higher. Now let me go higher. Now the input is 30 volts. They have labeled this as 12 volts and the only reason that they have limited is that the resistor with this uh, LED so this LED might get damaged if you apply this for longer period because the resistor that is calculated for this might be around for around 15 volts input but now this is double and double the intensity so the life of this LED will be reduced if you connect 30 volts but no harm to this to the actual regulator so still at 30 the regulation is good now let me go to the maximum now we are at 13.5 volts now let's reduce this at what voltage we can get the max so 15 volts so 15 we have to have 15 volts in order to get 13.5 volts the maximum Now let's test the current to see how it can, it can handle because the voltage output without the load doesn't mean much uh, for regulator purpose. So I've connected this as the input. The output, these two uh, have been connected to a load. Instead of load, I'm using electronic load. So these two wires have been connected to my load that I can adjust. And here you can see it. This is the voltage from this. Uh, you are reading it. This is the output voltage. And this is the current that the load draws from this wire and I can adjust it so uh, currently this is not connected so this is 0 0.5 now if I connect on now this is supplying 0 0.5 and you can see the voltage dropped a little so let me adjust it to 12 volts so output is now 12 volts the current is 0 0.5 and as you can see this meter is not accurate this is very accurate let's go up this is now heating up the rated current for this uh, regulator is 1.5 ampere but what with 5 ampere needs huge heat sink so this will not be able to tolerate that you just change it to 0 0.6 now it's 0 0.6 ampere the load have been increased heating up very fast now my fingers I cannot tolerate it over three seconds <laughs> and it's it's heating up very fast but with this heat sink uh, with this heat sink it might be able to handle it let's go 0 0.7 I just increase it
very hot. But for sure with this heat sink, it will be able to tolerate it for a while until the junction temperature increases up to 150 degrees Celsius. Then it will be problematic and overheat protection will kick in and it will shut down the output. 9 volts 0 0.7, very hot. So I would not suggest using it above 0 0.7 ampere or 700 milliampere. So let's go to 5 volts. Now we are around 0 0.5 volts, uh, 5 volts, 700 milliampere, heating up extremely. So 700. I don't know how long it will tolerate it before the device dies, but it's, it's extremely hot. So at 5 volts, because the difference between input and output is huge, the power dissipation increases, that's why the toleration will be reduced. It's very hot, extremely hot. 5. So at lower output, you have to reduce your current further. At a higher uh, output voltage, which is closer, when the difference is less, it can handle more. So for conclusion, this device can handle uh, 0.5 ampere safely for the output at around 12 uh, output when the output is 12 volts and input is around 14 or 15 volts not more than that it can handle up to 0 0.7 ampere but when you go towards 5 volts if the input is 12 volts which there is a 7 volts difference then the current should not be above 0 0.5 ampere or 500 milliampere thank you for watching this was a test review of lm317 module uh, if you like this video, please thumb up and subscribe so you can get updates of my upcoming other videos.